Welcome to the Aerotech Phase 1 capstone program. This project is the first of a three-phase program by Aerotech. The long-term goal for this program is to create a framework where the customer provides an aircraft designed to test, the design is simulated using a simple flight simulation, then modifications are applied to the aircraft, and the modified aircraft is tested structurally and in the wind tunnel. Then, the modified aircraft is placed in a detailed simulation, and a flight test performed to qualify the aircraft. Our project, which is phase one of the program, has the goal of redeploying at least one UAV for previous UW ANA capstones, implementing the UAV into a flight simulator, and performing at least one successful flight at our chosen test site. To accomplish these goals, the project was split into three key sub-teams. The UAV team was tasked with down-selecting two UAVs and refurbishing and upgrading at least one into a flight-ready status. The simulator team set out to implement the selected aircraft into a commercially available flight simulator to simulate the flight characteristics and failure mode effects of the UAV. The test site team focused on selecting a test site and streamlining the process of obtaining permission for this project as well as future phase of the project to safely fly at the location. The first UAV selected was the No Shielding Research aircraft made by the 2010 Capstone Group, which is a supersonic configuration inspired by supersonic aircraft of the past such as the Concorde and TU-144. Powered by a J800R jet turbine engine capable of 17.7 pounds of thrust, the aircraft is capable of a max speed of 130 miles per hour and an endurance of approximately 10 minutes. While the 2011 Capstone UAV was also selected, ultimately only the 2010 UAV was chosen to be refurbished due to the time constraints of the project. The aircraft's avionics system was completely replaced, now powered by the Q-Pilot Orange connected to a Hairling video controller with a 4K 30 frames per second first person view camera. This system gives the UAV a 20 km transmission range and autonomous flight capabilities. The simulator's goal is to assist in early evaluation of aircraft design by providing an idea of its handling characteristics as well as simulating our test flight and potential failure during operation. For these purposes, X-Plane was chosen for its ability to accurately simulate flight dynamics, its availability of several airports including our chosen airport in Moses Lake, and the ability to model various failure scenarios such as having one aileron stuck, both aileron stuck, or either elevator failing. The test site selected was Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, which is a three-hour drive away from Seattle. This site provides capability for future large-scale aircraft of 400 pounds or more and will allow our UAV to fly under FAA Part 107. Our planned flight test date is this Saturday, May 27th, where the no-shielding aircraft will fly again for the first time since 2010.